You are invited to a party, and there you are. But your friends barely notice you, because they're busy jamming. You're feeling left out. You wish you had a drum kit in your pocket so you could jam along with your friends. Wait a minute. Presenting the DIY JavaScript CSS and HTML tablet drum kit. Code it yourself. Coded yourself. All right, let's get started on building this cool little drum kit here. Um, I am using Visual Studio Code, and uh, I'm going to start by creating a couple of files. I already created a drum kit folder. So inside this folder, I'm going to create an index.html. And let's set that up like this. Let's call it drum kit. Let's save that. Okay, let's create another file. We want to have uh, styles.css. That's good. And then we also want to have a JavaScript file. Let's call that app.js. Like that. And let's just connect everything here. We need to link to the CSS here, and it's in the same folder. So this is going to be styles at CSS, and then down here, I want to I want to link to the to our JavaScript, and that is right here. Okay. So that's pretty cool, but let's check out if it works. I'm just going to add something inside the body here. List an h1 with uh, the question. Does it work? Does it really work? I'm going to save that, and then I'm going to add some background. Or actually, to the body, I'm going to add a background. Just to check if everything is connected. It's going to be a red background today. And in the app, we're going to console lock something. Console is here. Okay. Let's save that as well. And then we need to check if it works. And if you don't already have the live server built into your Visual Studio code, I think it's a good time to install it right now. If I click on my extensions here, I, you can see I have the live server enabled here. And if you don't have it, you can go ahead, you can search for it up here in the marketplace, and then you can install it. Uh, because when you do that, you can uh, you can start a server. And if I go back to my files here, the one we want to start a server on is the index, so I can right click on that, and then I can click open with live server. And then it opens up this one here that I'm just gonna drag over here, that's what it is, and it sure looks like it works. Let's check in the console if we're console logging anything and the console here. So everything is connected and we are ready and set to go. So I'm just gonna keep this open here, go back to the code, delete everything we did here and save it again. So I'm gonna delete this, save and this. Okay, this is what we're going to try to build. As you can see, we have some icons, we have some pads, some drum pads. I can... I can play the sound. So this is not much fun on a, on a computer in a browser if you don't have a touch screen. So it's much more fun on a, on a tablet. So here in our code, let's start out with uh, making a div. Let's give that a class of drum kit. 
like this. And inside here, we know we want six pads. So I'm going to make six divs. And the first one, I want to give it a class of pad, or I actually want to give that to all of them. And I'm just going to copy this here. And that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's good. And that's pretty good for now. I'm just going to save that. And then I'm going to go to my styles. First of all, in my CSS, I just want to target everything here. And then I just want to give it a margin and a padding of nothing. So zero margin and zero padding. Just to reset everything just a little bit. Okay. And then next, what I want to do, let me zoom in a little bit. Something like that. Then what I want to do here, first of all, let's just give the body a background. And let's give it a background of... 28, 28, 28. That's a nice looking background. Okay. So, and then let's target the drum kit. The one we just created, the container for all the pads. We want, first of all, we want to display it as flex. And then we want to tell the items inside that it should wrap the flex item. So flex wrap. Flex wrap should be wrap, okay? And then I just want to justify the content to the center. Like this. And then the last thing we want to do, I want to give it a height of 100 viewport height. So I can just go ahead, height 100 VH, which is viewport height. So that basically means whatever your viewport height is when you uh, rescale your your window your browser it'll be exactly 100% of that so that's something that we're probably gonna have a problem with uh, later on or I know we're gonna have a problem with it on the iPad because um, it works a bit different on the iPad but we're gonna we're gonna fix that with a little hack but uh, let's move on this is not gonna do much I'm just gonna save this go back to this and you can see there's nothing going on here right now so that's fine. We just have the background color. The next thing we want to do is we want to target the pad. And that's each of the six diffs that we created in our index HTML. Let's just style them up a little bit. And first of all, I want to display that as flex as well, because later on I want to have something in the middle and I want to center that stuff in the middle of each pad. So display flex. And as I said, I want to justify the content. Okay. And also, I want to align the items to the center. So when we add something in these pads, we know that it's hopefully going to be centered. Then also, I want to give it a background color, of course. And... I want to give it a gradient, a radial gradient here, so. And we want to start from, from this color here. That is going to be a nice color I found earlier. 18, 1, oh, that's not correct, is it? Yes, it is. 7, 4. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. And then comma, and then we're going to give it a little bit darker color here and that's going to be a D15746. Like this. Actually we want to do, uh, we want to set the flex here. Uh, let me move it up to all the other flex stuff. So I want to set the flex to one, zero, and then I want to make a calculation because we want three of them on each line so i want to, them to be 33 percent wide so let's actually do it 33.333 percent like that and if you look at it it's just totally you can see that there is a uh, i don't know if you can see that but you can see the the gradient here 
so let's we should probably give them some spacing between so let's give it a margin of 10 pixels then we're gonna have a problem here it's gonna it's not gonna show totally we just want to subtract the pixels here just to make sure that uh, we're taking the margin into account so I'm just gonna subtract 20 pixels and that should be uh, probably be a little bit better let's give it some nice round corners so border radius let's give it 10 pixels yep that looks better let's see if we can that looks like it works it looks pretty good yep yeah that's nice yeah I think that's it for now I think we can go ahead and add some images to them so to do that we need some images and I couldn't find anything online that looked really good uh, so I kind of made my own and you can download those I'll put a link to them in the description um, yeah I am going to create a folder out here and let's just call it icons and then in a second you will see I have magically copied some icons into this folder all right and here they are and you can see them if I open up here this is a clap this is a closed hi-hat this is a crash a kick and you can do whatever you want to this is uh these are the six drums that I selected for this little drum kit uh, and you can select whatever you want or you can make eight pads or ten pads whatever you want to it doesn't really matter but these are the only six icons that I created and which you can download if you want to use them um, so so in here I want to go back here and I want to have inside here I want to add an image of the of the icons and I'm gonna create an image tag and the source of this image should be it's inside the icons and the first one yeah let's have it be clap I can put this on it's okay I don't really need to do it but that's fine so the next one I'm just gonna copy all of this here and put it here 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 and here because the next one I want is gonna be the crash and I'm gonna have to type it in the alt description as well and the third one is going to be the open hi-hat and just OH that's fine and the kick drum here in the left corner and this should probably be the snare And the last one, let's make it a closed hi-hat. It's already there. PNG, PNG. Okay, let's save that. And let's go back to the browser and have a look. And it, it looks pretty good, right? You know, we can, uh, we can resize it and it, um, it resizes. So that's that's sweet it's very nice but right now we can't do anything we want to add the sounds to it and in order to add the sounds we're gonna be using something we call howler and we're gonna be using an audio sprite and an audio sprite is basically just one audio file with different sounds and for this little project we're gonna need six sounds and first we're going to need to have to find the sounds the individual audio files for for the different sounds so a sound for the hand clap and for the crash and for the hi-hat and for all of the different drums i went and googled free drum samples and i found this this is an old post from 2009 but it doesn't really matter because you can get some pretty decent sounding drum sounds here so you have a drum samples i downloaded this whole package here 254 megabytes and I extracted them and then I'm gonna show you so yeah I extracted this folder and you get a lot of different drum kits inside a folder called drum kits and you can choose whatever you want if you find a hi-hat sound a clap sound you like so go ahead and find some sounds that you like so that was a hi-hat closed hi-hat and I already did that and I found those sounds from different 
I mixed some of the kits with each other and I found some of the sounds that I liked the most, but you can uh, select whatever you want to. And then I copied it into a folder and I'm just gonna create that folder in here as well. Let's just make another folder up here. Let's call it drums, right? And in just a second, I will copy the drums that I selected into this folder. And here they are right over here. And I renamed them, so it's much simpler. Clap, closed hi-hat, crash, kick, open hi-hat, and snare. We're gonna use these sounds and we're gonna make an audio sprite from those sounds. But that's a longer story, so let's do that in the next video. I'm gonna show you how to take all of these and use a free tool online to, um, it basically just takes all of these, puts it into one audio file, and then it puts like one second of silence in between every single sound. So let's do that in the next video.